After a dramatic experience towing our RV to the land last week, I go right back to work and Kurt gets right back at it. It's mounted, looks pretty good. Getting our solar station built and leveling the RV. for the wicked. Okay, so today I'm working on mounting the output circuit uh, with this box here. Uh, the circuit breakers are here. There's a 50 amp, uh, two phase, 30 amp single, and a 20 amp single. And the corresponding receptacles for 240 volt, um, 120 or 240, and then the 20 amp circuit right here, this GFI. This whole box will be mounted back here on straps like this. And up front is where the input is. So uh, the DC input right here, the photovoltaic combiner box comes into here. So all of the solar panels, DC power comes in here. And then if there's a day or a time where we don't get enough sun and we don't charge the batteries enough. This is a 50 amp generator plug uh, in here that will hook up to the generator and we can charge the batteries uh, through the AC side. All right, I didn't have any angle iron, so I just used what I had with the straight stock and created a little piece of angle weld it. Um, so this is it, that box. Those mounting points on the back are gonna mount up right there. I'm gonna take the panel apart. There's some uh, hex screws throughout here so that I can pull these out and I can get to the back so I can drill the holes in my end of it. I got it mounted up here temporarily. You can see it, I'm gonna mark off the bottoms and then mount it permanent. mounted looks pretty good hardware back there I have to pull it off and paint it but I think for the most part it's pretty good it's a fantastic day today uh, it's like 73 degrees no wind um, I plan to first hook up one of my solar batteries because these batteries are dead and I need to get the slides out and then uh, I'm gonna do some more leveling uh, I got some jacks and some leveling pads so I'm gonna do that today
All right, so now I'm gonna go up. I got a good level. Right, so I'm gonna put these jack pads underneath the tripod and get the kingpin stabilized here. I leveled these off a little bit, built them up, and I'm kind of level, and then uh, jacked it up, and got some stability here. Still got weight on the tires and I'm gonna go ahead and work on the jacks back here. Alright, same thing here. I built up some dirt underneath of it, got it fairly level within the bubble, and then attached it, or pressed it up to the frame. This was the jack that we bent trying to get it up on the property, so I took it off too. Now I'm gonna get started on this side. Looks like I'll have to bring some gravel from over there in my little pit and bring it over here and get it level and stable. excavated and then put some gravel back because it was uh, too tall to fit in here but I got it working within one tenth of one degree so pretty much dead nuts if you measure this all in different spots you'll get different measurements but the bed and the counter are really what we want so point one on the bed which is what we want still a little out side to side in the bubble is showing about a degree out.
Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And join us on Patreon.